channel. Today we are going to dive in to a few products that I picked up from Danessa Myricks. As many of you guys know, Danessa Myricks is now sold at Sephora, which is really incredible. Her brand has been available on Beautylish for a while now, and now it's available at Sephora, which is just incredible for her. She's just such an amazing, talented makeup artist, and everything she does is all about the skin. She's, that's like, you can tell that's her passion. When you go through the images of some of her makeup looks, it's all about the skin. Like the skin is the focal point, which is kind of right up my alley because if you guys have been with me for a while, you've heard me say many, many times that for me personally, if my complexion and the products on my complexion are good, the rest of it just doesn't really matter. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's important to have an eye look, but for me, I care most about the way that my complexion looks. And so I'm very complexion driven when it comes to photographs and uh, things that attract me. So Denise and Myrick's work has always been something that I've just always kind of oh, over, you know, because it, she just, Oh, it's like glass skin. It's like the perfect glass skin, which is, again, right up my alley. I love a beautiful, radiant skin. So we are going to dive into many products that I've recently picked up from her brand, and I'm going to test them out. I'm going to be doing a full day wear test, six hour daylight check-in. I'll do a 12 hour check-in and go through all of the products and give my thoughts on them. Also, I'm very happy to announce that Angie from Gigi's Beauty, she and I are collaborating on this video together. Uh, she had bought a bunch of stuff from Danessa Myricks, and I think it's fun for both of us to kind of share our perspective on the brand. And I think she might have a few different products than I do, which is gonna be good. If you guys are interested in more products than I have or different colors of products that I have. So it, I, we thought it would be fun to collaborate on this video so we can both not only share our experience, but we both have a few different products uh, that we're testing. Definitely head over to Gigi's Beauty. She's incredible. She does a lot of more high-end makeup up reviews and she's so thorough and just so beautiful and has such a light about her and I don't know how she does it because she's got little kids and she does her channel with little children like I give it to those women out there who are doing YouTube and have that kind of responsibility I mean, you know my kids are older now you know my son is 19 he's gonna be 20 in June which blows my mind uh, my daughter just turned 18. She's still at home, but my son is uh, kind of back and forth home. You know, he's got an apartment, but sometimes he's here, sometimes he's not. So for me, I don't have those little kids running around that need mom all the time. You know how that is. When you have little kids, they need you all the time. And so I really give it to Gigi for being so dedicated to her channel and yet still so dedicated to her children and her husband and her family. It's just an amazing, she's just an amazing person. And I truly adore her. So I will leave all of her information in the description box down below. She and I have collaborated before. This is not our first collaboration, but this was such a great idea for her and I to do. And I'm just happy that we get to share our experience with the Danessa Myricks brand and a few of the products that we picked up. We both get to share our different perspective and different products that we might've picked up from the brand. And so definitely head over to her channel and check out her video when you are done watching this video. If you are new to my channel from her channel, welcome. My name is Tara Lynn and I love makeup. That is just at the end of the day, I love makeup and I'm kind of brutally honest about makeup. So <laughs> sometimes people get offended by it. I don't know why. I'm like, it's just makeup. I don't understand it, but I'm always going to be very brutally honest in a very nice classy way. I mean, I don't just say this is complete trash and I, you know, but I, I try to soften it up, but I definitely like to be brutally honest. So here we are. Okay. Let's start talking about Miss Danessa Myricks. If you guys didn't know, Danessa Myricks was working in the corporate world and she was going to these photo shoots and she was seeing these makeup artists do all of their fancy makeup on these models and she was like, I want to do that. It's incredible, right? Her story is absolutely incredible. And she did. And from that point on, she has become a world-renowned makeup artist. Danessa Myricks has kind of focused her brand on many of her products being very multi functional products, meaning that you can use the products for the lips, cheeks, and eyes. Like you can use the foundation for also concealer or a cover up. Like all of her products are made to be used 
in many different multiple ways. It's not just one designated product for one designated application. So I really like that there's a lot of versatility in the brand and she's got a lot of great products. We're gonna jump right into all of the products that I picked up. Now I'd already had a few products that I picked up from Danessa Myricks uh, from Beautylish, but I decided to kind of do just like a full face of like one brand. I've been enjoying doing more brand focus reviews where I buy multiple products from the brand and then review those products and give you my overall thoughts along with giving you some information about the brand itself. Now, the other thing that I also wanna mention before we jump into the application, if you're interested, uh, Danessa Myricks on her website actually has some free classes that you can take. So you can actually pay to become a part of the university where she really goes in more in-depth uh, tutorials and products and how to apply and stuff like that. She also has a lot of free content available uh, for educational purposes. If you're interested in learning her technique, and some of the techniques that makes her the master that she is, I recommend heading over to the website and checking that out. I will leave a link to that in the description box down below. It's very easy and I watched a few of them and she's just, I think, here's the thing. I, I think the number one thing that I loved about Danessa Myricks is that she's so real. That's the only word that I could describe is that she's just real and very she seems to be a very personable person meaning you know some of these celebrity makeup artists you would be very intimidated to go up to and just talk to and have a conversation with right but Danessa seems to have this very open part of her personality where she feels very approachable but the perception that I get from just hearing her talk and her mannerisms she just feels so personable and that was the first thing that really struck me about her. I recommend heading over to the website and checking it out. So I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna jump right into the application of the products that I am playing with in today's video. And then we will get into the six hour daylight check-in. Of course, we're gonna get into some swatches and comparisons. And then I will jump into my final thoughts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the application. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this full face of Denissa Myricks. So the first product I'm actually gonna start with is this product. Um, this is more of like an illuminating product. This is the illuminating veil. I haven't put my necklaces on yet, so I figured that maybe I would put it on my chest and see how it looks. I'm actually wearing a bodysuit, so I'm just gonna kind of pull my bodysuit down. And I think I'm just gonna put it here on the brush. Now this is, a, this is a synthetic brush, but all my brushes are dirty, you guys. Like all of them, they're all dirty. So I gotta kinda make it work. So I'm just gonna kinda bring this around the chest. Now I recently bought the Body Bling by um, Scott Barnes. And it actually works really well. It is a pretty body product. Uh, I also just bought the new one from Fenty. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put a picture up here. And that one kind of makes you bronzy. And it actually works really pretty. I've, I've been really enjoying it. So I can say that this is a very soft illuminator. Um, this is exactly what I like an illuminator. I don't want it to be super noticeable. So like when I'm looking in the mirror, uh, it blends out really beautifully and I can't see it like sitting on the skin, but it just gives the skin a beautiful shine. I mean, you can see that this just looks really pretty. It's got a really pretty color to it and it's just super soft. So I like this. This is pretty. Let's move on to the foundation. This is called the Vision Cream Cover. It's a two-in-one foundation concealer. Now this I have done a little bit of research about. This is pretty dewy and it's extremely full coverage. Uh, I watched a video, I'm not gonna say whose it was, but I watched a video and the person used so much of it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so much foundation. And yes, throughout the day, it was too heavy because this product is so pigmented. I feel like a little bit's gonna go a really long way. 
Now also, the nice thing about Danessa Myricks is that if you go on her website, you can actually buy samples of this, which is really nice. Now she has a product called a beauty oil. She did recommend that if you want it to be a little bit thinner of a consistency to mix it with the beauty oil, which I might do that, maybe like half and half. It's a versatile foundation concealer hybrid using the latest texture, minimizing technology to create a silky smooth finish. It offers options from sheer to buildable full coverage. It's formulated with hydrating and protective vitamin E and 100% plant derived squalane. This fusion of silicone, wax, and oil both treats and protects the skin. How you use it, it says wear one drop alone for a full coverage application with a natural finish or you can mix one drop of foundation with two to three drops of a luxury beauty oil to create a thinner and more emollient version of the formula. Or you can layer on top or mix with the Prism Hydrating Lotion for additional radiance. Uh, it also plays well with oil, wax, and silicone. So right now it is 11.33 in the morning. I have this oil from Tarte. It's the uh, Maracuja or Mar Maracuja, Maracuja, I don't know. I have two shades in the foundation. I had no idea what shade it was gonna be. So this is Neutral 05 and this is W03. For the base of it, I'm gonna use Neutral 05. So I'm probably gonna use like a pump of that and then like a half a pump of the Warm 03 to kind of warm it up but and deepen it just a tad, but not a ton. Let's test it. Oh, it's still too light. So I'm having a problem. It's like it's either too light or too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more of the dark. That's gonna be more half and half, which I think that's a good shade. Now, I don't have any self-tanner on my face, so it's just on my body. Um, but I do think that's gonna be a better shade. On this side of the face, I'm going to apply it without any beauty oil. And then on the other side of the face, I'm going to mix in a little bit of beauty oil. So I'm just gonna take my finger and go in and kind of dot it around. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out. And the key to this is not using too much of it. I prefer applying this type of formula with a brush because I feel like I can control the coverage. If I dip down into this or if I put it on here, I think because it's such a thicker formula, the brush really moves and spreads the product around better than it would if I was, you know, putting it on with a sponge. I feel like the brush just really pushes it and kind of gives you a more even application, but that's just me. I always prefer using a brush anyway and then like pushing it into the skin with a sponge. This is so pretty. Gosh, it's pretty. It is so pretty. Okay, so I have the beauty oil. This one is the one from Tarte. So I'm just gonna take probably a half a drop of this and mix it into the actual foundation that's sitting here in the tray. And I'm gonna dot it. And then I'm gonna blend it out. And it blends out so much faster with the beauty oil because it's it's a thicker formula and the beauty oil just kind of just spreads it out so much easier and so much quicker. But with the beauty oil, I'm curious how it will last, you know? Will it get gross throughout the day? Will it get oily throughout the day? Like that's something that I am gonna keep my eye on because I am gonna be doing a wear test on this but you can see it blended right out. I mean, over here, I kind of had to really push it and you know, really spread it good with the brush, but with the beauty oil, it spreads right out and it applies so fast. Like it is so quick and you have to do little to no work and it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a concealer. I'll probably just use the shade um, N05 for my under eye. Uh, but because your under eyes are, you know, you have more wrinkles under there, it's a thinner skin. I feel like mixing it with the beauty oil is probably the best way to wear this with as a concealer. I'm going to kind of smooth it out with my finger. Look how pretty that is. It is so pretty with the beauty oil, you guys. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my brows off camera. Let's move on to the next product. This product I've actually used several times. This is called the Contour Bomb. This isn't available on the Sephora website, but this is, I bought this on Beautylish, I believe. Um, this retails for $26. 
and they come in multiple shades. This is her contour product. And I have two shades. I have medium two and I have medium three. Now medium two is the shade that I've been using. So this is medium two, this is medium three. This one has a tiny bit more warmth in it than medium three. This blends into the skin exactly like the Tom Ford shade in Luminate. I've been using the Tom Ford for probably I don't know, six months, maybe even longer than that. I mean, you can see I've almost hit, dipped pan on the center of it. When I picked this up from Danessa Myricks, I was blown away at just how easy it blends. And it blends and applies just like the Tom Ford shade in Illuminate. I've read and heard a few negative comments about the contour balm. And it seems like a lot of people have had a struggle finding their right shade. For me, shade medium two is absolutely perfect. Uh, it's not too dark. It's not too dark. It's not too light. And I also prefer my contour to be cooler toned. So what I like to do is I like to just take my brush, go down inside of it, tap a little bit, and just apply what's on the brush to the places that I want it. Now, if I wanna add just a little bit more, I can. It blends so easily into the skin that you, ugh. I mean, look at that, it's blended, look at that. A few little stipples and it's blended and you are good to go. It is so easy to use. It's just like the Tom Ford, so easy, so buildable, but it also has a little bit of a soft matte finish to it. It's still a little bit dewy, but it's it's kind of dries down to a like satin matte. It is just amazing. One of the best contour products I've used, especially at that price point. I mean, that was the thing is trying to find a good contour that wasn't $88 because that Tom Ford, I love it, but it's $88. This is amazing for the price, like such a good contour. So I am going to use this as a blush. This is the shade Rustic, and this is her Color Fix. It's a waterproof matte liquid pigment. You can use it on your eyes, lips, or cheek. So these retail for $18, and she has multiple shades. An award-winning, multi-purpose, long-wearing cream pigment that can safely be used on your eyes, lips, and cheeks for up to 24 hours. And I'm gonna grab just a tiny bit of it. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful here. But it blends out, but that is a lot, right? Oh my gosh, that's a lot. We are going to powder next because I need some powder like stat, stat, stat. That is a lot of pigment. So we're gonna move on to the powder. This is the Evolution Setting Powder. This retails for $24 and it comes in again, multiple shades. I picked up the shade 2.5 and it might be too dark. I don't know, it looks kind of dark in the pan. It makes me a little nervous. Um, it says it's a micro fine translucent setting powder and finishing powder that helps reduce shine and set your makeup in place for all day transfer resistant wear. I think what I'll do is I'll use like my regular hourglass translucent setting powder on one side and then this powder on the other just to get a good idea for the powder and how it works with the foundation. But I, you know, it's, it's always hard when you're testing a foundation and a new powder. So I want to be able to use what I normally use to get a good idea for the foundation, but also I want to use this powder and see how it controls shine compared to my regular powder. So my regular powder is this one from Hourglass. Just lightly dust over top of everything. Kind of calm down the shine. Now I'm gonna wipe off my brush. This powder has a little tab pull things and it looks like it has a mesh knit. So this does have a tone to it. So if I had to do it over, I would have probably bought one that had a lighter shade, maybe the, the um, light beige, maybe number two. This is 2.5, um, but it is a very soft powder. I feel like it kind of just changed the overall tone of my makeup on this side and made everything a little bit darker. I feel so like that powder 
buffed in as good on this side as my translucent setting powder because you can kind of see that this still kind of looks strong and this is just a little bit softer so i don't know i don't know i don't know about the powder it might be too finely milled for me i've been i've noticed that i'm kind of picky with powder okay. let's move on to the highlighter palette this is the, something i was so excited to grab i was so excited about this this is called the light work highlighting palette it retails for 42 dollars and it's beautiful. These textures are so pretty. I feel like this shade right here is gonna be my perfect shade. This right here, it's so, so damn beautiful. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. This is the top row. Do you see the shine in here? I mean, that one is easy breezy. This one is no problem. This one is smooth sailing. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> these highlighters <gasps> they are stunning absolutely beautiful and they're creamy so look when I put my finger in them you can see where I swatched you can see where my finger was so that tells me that this is a very creamy buttery very buttery formula and I am here for it so I'm gonna go into common sense this one right here oh my gosh I have enough on the brush, probably do my whole face. I'm not joking. This is a very, very pigmented highlighter. <gasps> but it is beautiful. Oh my gosh. That shade is so pretty. It's so creamy and so it's extremely natural. You could apply these with your fingers. Totally. I mean, very easily. Look at that. I mean, it just is so creamy. It's creamy, but it's also, it's like a cream powder. Mm. I am in heaven right now how pretty this highlighter is. Okay. Let's move on to the product that I got for the eye. This is the Foils Liquid Glitter, and this is for the lip, cheek, or eye. It's exactly the same as this that I used on the cheek. So this one I got in the shade Alien, and it's a rosy gold foil. Let me show you how beautiful. I've already swatched it because I just could not help myself. Right? This is a little bit more of a holographic light pink. Look at the iridescence. So I'm looking down at it and it's green. And then when I look through the camera, it's pink. So it's got a multi-dimensional uh, formula. This does dry quickly. So I recommend working fast and just apply it. Now I'm going to take a clean brush and go in and just kind of diffuse it and blend it out. Yes, definitely have a clean brush that you can use. So I'm just going to grab some shades from my new Tarte palette. I love this palette. Uh, just to kind of be able to kind of bring some colors into the crease and give me some dimension. I'll probably mix these two shades together and build them up into the crease just to give me a little bit of dimension. Bring some down on the lower lash line and then go ahead and, you know, put some mascara on and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. I went ahead and just finished up the eye look with just a little bit of color and it just, it looks so pretty. I also mixed a bunch of different shades for the inner corner. So I first mixed these two shades together from the highlighting palette and then I was like, ooh, I need a little bit of that white to really open the inner corner. So I grabbed a little bit of this, popped a tiny bit on the inner corner, and then brought a little bit of it into the inner, and it just, poof, and I am here for it. So let's talk about the lip product that I picked up. So the lip product is called the Vision Flush Cheek Lip and Eye Color, and I picked this up in the shade Ballet Slippers. These retail for $20, and it's a long-lasting, blendable, multi-use liquid pigment for, for your cheeks, lips, and eyes. Uh, basically kind of something similar to the ones that are in here. So this is the shade. It's very, very pigmented and very pretty, but it also feels like this color. So it feels like I bought two of the exact same colors. Oh my gosh, I did. <laughs> 
not lying. So this is rustic in the little tube and they're so similar. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. But I can tell you this that's in this little packaging, this is more of a matte. This is a little bit more radiant. So, you know, that's, I would say the difference between these two, but this definitely does not match my shirt or my outfit or anything. So I'm gonna make it work. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is line my lips with, I think I'll do the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. So I'm gonna line my lips first. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in my lips with the Iconic Nude. I'm gonna put this on the center of the lip. So I, I lined the lips and then I kind of brought the lip liner into the lip. So I thought that would kind of tone down the orange to kind of, I like to match my lip and my eye look to my clothes. I'm so weird about it. I'm just gonna kind of, ooh, got a little bit carried away with that wand. I'm gonna try something just a little bit here. I wanna see how this applies on the skin um, instead of the lip. So this color right here. I am going to just take my brush. I'm gonna grab just a tiny, tiny bit of it because it is kind of more of a matte finish. And just sweep it on top. Oh yeah, see that's really pretty. I actually think I prefer this formula for the cheek than the other formula because it's a little bit more matte. Um, it's a little bit more of like a semi-matte and I don't think it's as pigmented. So it's a little bit thinner of a formula. So this one is much thicker. It's a very thick kind of emollient formula and so it gets to be a lot. This one is a thinner formula. So I kind of feel like this would probably be better as blush than this one for me personally. That's it for the tutorial portion of the video. I will see you guys all in my six hour daylight check-in. Okay, everyone, I wanted to pop outside and give you guys an update on this. So it's currently six o'clock at night. As you guys might notice, I'm looking extra tan in the face. I I'm very surprised that I am this orange out here in the daylight because I use the most of the lighter shade of the neutral five um, and only a tiny bit of the warm three. And I'm looking pretty, pretty, pretty uh, golden, pretty golden. So it's definitely not a perfect match for my skin. But let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see how this is looking. You can see the way that it looks here on this side. Now, this is the side that is the foundation only uh, without the beauty oil. And then this is the side with the beauty oil and the foundation together. I just wanted to pop out here, show you guys what this is looking like. I really am kind of impressed because it's such a dewy formula that seven hours later, I did set it with powder, but I was expecting it to kind of slip and slide more than it is. Um, but yeah, I will do a 12 hour check-in tonight. Um, I think I'm gonna try these products out for another day or two to really get a good feel for it. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. And then of course, I will get into my 12 hour check-in in my final thoughts. Okay, so I just thought I would just turn on the camera here in my kitchen, just room lighting, and show you what the foundation is looking like. I really, it's almost midnight and I'm exhausted. I just got done editing like a four hour video. <laughs> well, it's not four hours, it took me four hours to edit it. So it's currently 12 o'clock. So I have had this foundation on for a really long time. So I just figured I would just turn on the camera while I'm sitting here and show you guys what this is looking like. Let me see if I can get a little bit better lighting. There we go. So it's a little bit dewy in certain areas. It might be getting a little bit makeup-y right here in this area. I mean, I really haven't touched my face much today, um, but for 12 hours, this does not look near as bad as I thought it was going to. I had a feeling that this would be like a super greasy mess. Yeah, maybe I'm missing a little bit right here along my nose, like right here in this area, but it is it is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. 
And this kitchen lighting hopefully is really showing it. Um, sometimes in the studio lights, um, in my filming room, it, it, sometimes it makes things look a little bit better. If I was going to film my full final thoughts and stuff, I would definitely just go down to my room and, you know, film. But because I'm not going to film my full thoughts on this tonight, uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And then the next time you guys see me, um, it will be my full final thoughts and giving you, you know, cause I want to wear this, I want to wear this for another day just to make sure my feelings are right about it. But anyway, I thought I'd pop on here, show you guys what it's looking like. I'm going to go to bed and take this makeup off because I am exhausted and I will see you guys in my final thoughts. Okay, everyone, I am back to give my final thoughts on the products from Danessa Myricks. Let's start with this illuminating veil. So this is in the shade Radiance, which I don't know that I mentioned that earlier, but you saw it in the swatches. Um, this is really beautiful. It's very soft on the skin. It's a thicker shimmer formula, so it, but it spreads a really, really long, long way. Um, I just recommend probably a brush works the best to kind of spread it out but it is really beautiful it is a great formula and if you're looking for something like that to kind of give your skin a beautiful radiance but in a very very natural way i would recommend blending it out with a brush i think that was definitely the best way to apply a product like this but really really beautiful i mean just a great formula so let's talk about the vision cream cover for a second so I wore this yesterday off camera just to really get a better idea of how it wears. And this I feel like is a very kind of special occasion type of foundation. It's, I don't feel like it's going to be something that somebody would want to wear on a daily regular basis as like their daily foundation. This is one of those foundations that you'd want to reach for when you are going to take photographs, family pictures, something where you know you're going to be photographed because it's really thick and got a lot of coverage. Now, I do think that this formula would be absolutely amazing to mix with, let's just say that you have a foundation that is a light coverage, you love the finish of it, you love the shade of it, but you wish you had a little bit more coverage. Adding a drop of this to that foundation would be amazing. I think this makes a great mixer. I also definitely 100% prefer to apply this with the beauty oil. I feel like the beauty oil just really spreads it out very evenly and very quickly because it's such a thick uh, pigmented product. Uh, but I don't really necessarily think people who are combo and oily are going to really enjoy this because it is so dewy. Now, as you saw, sorry for that 12 hour check-in. I was trying to get the best lighting in my kitchen and my bathroom, uh, but that was, I was very surprised that it lasted as long as it did. Being that it's just such a dewy formula, I was very surprised at the lasting powers of it. I think my biggest complaint with this is trying to find the right shade. Uh, I noticed that the first time I mixed it, it was too orange. The next time I mixed it, it was too, it was a little bit lighter. 
and you know so I had issues with mixing it the first day I tried it which was on camera and then yesterday when I tried it off camera I was still struggling to try to find the best way to mix it so I think for me my biggest struggle is the shade trying to get the right mixture with these was my experience I think it's a great foundation but I don't necessarily think that it's necessary in your collection for just a regular daily foundation so let me talk about the powder really quick so number one the shade I think is a little bit too dark for me I noticed when I used it yesterday I I just kind of felt like I had a cast on my skin that was just a little bit darker than like my skin so I think 2.5 might be a little bit too dark for me but on the flip side of that this powder reminds me of the by Terry hyaluronic hydra powder and that's not my favorite powder and it's because it's so 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 finely milled like it almost it's almost too finely milled but many people love the hydra powder from by terry so if you like that type of formula then i think you might really like this because it is very very finely milled we all have different preferences so if you like the hydra powder from by terry you will probably really like this for me on a personal level this is not my favorite powder let's talk about the contour the contour is my favorite uh, okay, so as you saw in the swatches of this contour next to the Tom Ford, the only difference is that the Danessa Myricks is a little bit more on the satin side. The Tom Ford is a tad bit dewier, like you could see it in the swatches. But once you apply it, they apply exactly the same. So I stand behind my statement that this is a perfect alternative to the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. I don't know that I'd go as far as to say it's a total dupe, maybe. I could probably say that and feel okay about it, but it's definitely a great alternative if you don't wanna spend the $88 on that Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contour Palette. This is a very beautiful formula. Let's talk about the highlighter palette. So as you saw in the swatches, I did swatch it next to the Scott Barnes highlighter palette. And I'll be honest with you, if you have the Scott Barnes highlighter palette, you definitely don't need this one from um, Danessa Myricks because the shades are very, very similar. I think they apply very similar on the skin uh, and they're both very metallic. But the Danessa Myricks is a more creamier formula. Scott Barnes, it's got that more very, very finely, finely, finely milled metallic where Danessa Myricks is a little bit thicker, a little bit creamier when you stick your finger in it and you can feel that it's super creamy. I mean, you can kind of see the difference in the texture. So like when you put your finger in it, you can kind of see where it kind of clumps up on the finger. It kind of gets a little clumpy. Uh, with the Scott Barnes, it's not like that. The Scott Barnes is more of that real metallic finish, you know, just that traditional, very thin, thin formula, but very, very high intense uh, highlighters. However, if you've been wanting to get the Scott Barnes palette, but you haven't wanted to spend the price for it, yeah, you get six big shades, and then Scott Barnes, you get eight shades, but most of the time, you always got to understand, too, these big highlighter palettes are for makeup artists because makeup artists are doing makeup on on all different types of skin tones, right? And so they need a palette with all these different colors to be able to apply on this on different uh, on a variety of different skin tones. So I don't necessarily think that the everyday makeup user needs this highlighter palette. However, with my skin with my skin tone, I could wear all of these shades on my skin. Uh, maybe except for the, the, the white one, but I, I could use the white one as an inner corner. So I don't know. It just depends on if you really need a highlighter palette or not. Um, I have a lot of single highlighters that I absolutely love, so it just depends. But overall, the formula is really good. Okay, let's talk about this, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the Vision Flush. This is the Ballet Slippers. This is a great formula. Uh, this is for the face, the lips, the you know eyes, however you want to wear it. And I prefer this on my lips. But yesterday I did put a little bit of it in my crease and I didn't really love it. It was, I think it was the shade that kind of just threw me off. I prefer this for the lips, but it's really beautiful, very long lasting. And 
it's more of a satin matte finish, but it's also pretty hydrating. So when I was wearing it, I didn't feel like my lips were drying out at all or anything like that. It's a really, really nice formula. Uh, let's talk about the color fix. Uh, so I have the one in the foil, which is the shade Alien, which is like that rose gold and the, the mattes. So this did not crease. When I was sh like doing the zoom up in the bathroom, this does not crease. It is foolproof. Like you put it on and it is on all day. And the thing that I noticed at night is that it was not hard to remove off of my eyes. Like when I was wiping off my makeup. So this is a fantastic metallic formula. If any of you out there love that holographic metallic look, you will love these from Danessa Myricks because they blend easily, beautifully, and they don't budge. They don't crease. I was so, so impressed with the longevity on these. Uh, and same goes for the mattes. Now, I don't love this for a blush. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't my favorite as a blush, but I do think that this would be really beautiful in the crease. And I'm actually thinking about getting a darker shade, like a darker brown, and using that maybe as a base to go over top of with you know, my brown uh, powdered shadows and stuff just to kind of build it up because I do think that this is a very long lasting foolproof formula, but this is just not the right color for me to use in my crease and stuff. You know what I mean? But really, really great formula. Like if you found shades that you like, I really like this, but I don't really like it on the cheek though. Um, this color. Now, if I find a different color for the face, maybe, but this color I didn't really love on my face, but as far as the product itself, fantastic. I have already ordered the cream bronzer and as soon as it arrives, I will definitely use it probably in like a get ready with me testing out new makeup. I have quite a few products that I need to get through. So I might just include them all in one video. I'm very excited to try that because I love cream bronzers and this is something that kind of piques my interest. So as soon as that arrives, I will definitely create a video on it. Sound up down below in the comment section. Let us know what you've tried from Danessa Myricks and what what you love from her brand. I'm very, very curious. And thank you again to Angie from Gigi's Beauty for collaborating with me on today's video. Definitely head over to her channel and check out her video. And I'm excited to see what Danessa Myrick's products she bought. Uh, but this is a good brand. Overall, she she is a great brand. Danessa Myricks is a fantastic brand. There wasn't anything that I used that I thought was just absolutely terrible. There was just a few products that just wasn't for me personally, but overall the formulas, you can tell that she's put a lot of thought through them and trying to make a lot of versatility, especially for other makeup artists. I do feel like this brand is definitely makeup artist driven. However, even though it was created for makeup artists, I feel like it was also very easy for an everyday makeup user like I, like I am to jump in and play with them and use them in a daily routine. So she is, yeah. Hail to the master. She's amazing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.